gotta love the old thermostats we're just kicking the heat on this is an old historic building i just got the boiler running and this is just a creepy ass attic space this house is probably from the 1800s Old Honeywell actuators, it's opening now. Don't have hot water as of yet up here. Uh, air vents on top. I found one closed there. This guy's already open and I had both of those closed. I don't know, I don't know why. That's where they run, they run to the drain pan over here. So nothing's leaking. That's one thing I wanted to make sure of. And I should be feeding these coals now. Everything should start warming up. Uh, but just an old building. Interesting. I don't know what that is or when it was written, but that says 1907. This is probably from the building from the 1800s. It's all old. I don't know when they put the air and heat in, but uh, you got humidifiers for all the old wood and a uh, pretty old boiler downstairs. So let's go take a look at the boiler. <laughs> This is the bearing assembly here and then the motor mounts to the bearing assembly the bearing assembly has got the impeller on this side so the bearing assembly started leaking so the seals in it failed uh, the coupler was gone there's a coupler that connects the bearing assembly to the pump so I got new bearing assembly new coupler the impeller was cracked when I got it off so it's got a new impeller the motor's still it's rated 5.4 amps and that's what it's running. The motor's still all right. Um, I kind of made a mess, but the looks like we're doing pretty good right now. About 10 PSI. Alan says about 140, which is our set point. And then a bunch of valves over here. You got a slow drip on that valve. But the boiler fired right off, no problem. I'm just monitoring amp draw. I want to make sure I get all the air out and make sure everything's heating before I leave. So I am missing one thermostat for this guy down here. I couldn't feel the hot water upstairs yet, but I can feel it here. And my valve's closed still. I had to look pretty hard for those other valves. Or the other. Um thermostats those air vents are hidden up there those are both on so I need to take a look around and see if I can't find a thermostat heat looks like they got the rest of the house set on 65 this one's up a little bit we're just gonna let everything cycle. We'll make sure all these actuators work. These are old actuators, but they don't build them like this no more. Yeah, it'll be all right here. Like she's opening up nicely. I'm glad they got Automatic air vents, because that's one thing I was worried about. That old humidifier. Let's 
a low bridge coming in here. The tree trimming is going to cost extra. <laughs> I didn't even realize that until I came back outside. <laughs> so this was just a quick one, guys. I just wanted to show the pump. Basically, is what I was rebuilding. Uh, these things used to scare the shit out of me, and I'm not a fan of water anyways. Um, but pretty simple deal. Bearing assembly, the impeller. There's a spring inside here and usually a nut on top. This, I couldn't get this one off. The nut came loose. But then there's a small hairline crack right there and another spot as well. So it was leaking around the seals anyways. So it leaks around that seal. This is the shaft that connects, the coupler connects that shaft to the motor shaft. And it's just a spring and uh, it's got a little set screw on each end and it allows the motor to spin the impeller so that was fun leave the tray bearing you found it guys i need to clean my damn van see y'all next time